Hey guys and welcome to the Chemistry Shack. In a previous video I made aluminum oxide. In this video we will be using that aluminum oxide to dehydrate ethanol in order to make ethene gas. Ethene is the simplest alkene, which is basically just a class of molecules containing carbon-carbon double bonds. It has the formula C2H4, and unlike ethane, which has the formula C2H6, you can see that ethene only has two hydrogens on each carbon and a double bond between the two carbon atoms. Because of the relatively weak double bond, ethene is much more reactive than ethanol, so it is easier to convert it to other molecules. The reaction we will carry out to produce ethene is known as a catalytic dehydration. The word catalytic, as you may be able to tell, indicates that we will be using a catalyst to facilitate this reaction. In this case, the catalyst is the aluminum oxide that we prepared in a previous video. The word dehydration indicates that we are removing a water molecule from the ethanol. In the equation on the screen, you can actually see where all of the atoms in the water come from. The OH of the water comes from the OH on the ethanol, and the other hydrogen atom comes from one of the hydrogens on the other end of the ethanol molecule. Together, these form H2O, and the two carbon atoms join together in a double bond. Anyway, that's enough with the theory, so let's get on to the actual reaction. Start by adding a few milliliters of anhydrous ethanol to a test tube clamped to a ring stand. Then add some of the aluminum oxide catalyst above the ethanol. Since we want the ethanol vapors to pass over the catalyst, it's important that the catalyst isn't submerged in the ethanol. Next, add a one-hole rubber stopper with a glass tube in it to the test tube. Attach a plastic tube to this glass tube. Insert the other end of the plastic tube into a tray full of water. Now you will need to fill a test tube with water and insert it into the water tray upside down, securing it in place with a clamp. Make sure to leave some space at the bottom. This will be used to collect the ethene gas by water displacement. Begin the reaction by heating up the aluminum oxide catalyst. Keep most of the heat focused on the catalyst, but occasionally heat the ethanol for a couple seconds. Initially, the gas produced will just be air, but once ethene is produced, you will be able to smell it. I seem to be incapable of putting its smell into words. It's sort of like camping gas, but a little sweeter, I guess? Anyway, you'll recognize it when you smell it. Once you smell ethene, insert the plastic tube into the inverted test tube and collect the gas. An interesting side note is that the aluminum oxide catalyst turns black as the reaction progresses. I actually don't know why this is, and any suggestions in the comments would be pretty helpful. Anyway, we can show that we've made a flammable hydrocarbon by testing for flammability. I did this experiment again and collected another test tube full of ethene. You might be wondering, how can we be sure this is ethene and not ethane? Remember how I said earlier that ethene is more reactive than ethane? Well, we can actually use its reaction with iodine to test it. Ethene reacts with iodine, forming diiodoethane, but ethane does not react with iodine. So to test the gas that we produced, I add a few drops of dilute iodine water to the test tube. You can see that it starts out as a pale yellow-orange color. However, after shaking the test tube, the solution becomes colorless. What has happened is that the yellow-orange iodine is reacting with the ethene to produce diiodoethane, which is completely colorless. Let's compare that to a test tube full of just normal air. You can see that nothing happens and the yellow color just stays the same. However, we can also prove that this reaction doesn't happen with alkanes. Here I have two test tubes full of propane and butane, and you can see that when iodine water is added, the color does not change. Well, now you know how to make ethene gas and how to test for it. Well, that's it for this video. Make sure to check out some of my other videos, and if you like what you see, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Thanks for watching!